don't play with your food. That's what they always told us, but it's just so much fun. Almond Rocher truffles with liquid cream centers. This entire dessert tastes like you're eating milk and cookies with every bite. This dessert was a top seller in my bakery. There's just something that is so whimsical about individual desserts that everyone loves so much. So first let's get to making the tart shells out of my perfect cookie dough recipe that I have made ahead of time. So I'm just re-rolling it to a pliable, workable consistency and I'm rolling it to about 1 8 of an inch thickness. Cut out some circles that are larger than the tart molds and I'm using individual 4 inch tart molds with removable bottoms for these. Then just press the dough right in there. And if you miss a spot, it's easy enough to just sort of patch it up. Um, it's really easy to work with this dough and re-rolling is not a problem. So just keep re-rolling until there's nothing left. And this entire recipe makes six individual four inch tarts. A prick with a fork in the bottom is going to help let the steam escape as they bake. And I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and they go for about 18 minutes until they are golden brown and crispy, perfect little tart shells. Okay, so just set these tarts aside to cool. And now to make the almond Rocher truffles. I'm using a sphere mold for my chocolate shells with tempered chocolate. And if you don't know how to temper chocolate, you can watch my tutorial and learn how to do it. Or you can simply use a coating chocolate, which doesn't require tempering. And I'll leave links to everything in the written recipe post on my website at Gretchen'sVeganBakery.com. So while the shells are setting, I'm going to make the liquid cream centers with some almond milk, white chocolate, and a splash of almond extract. By melting the white chocolate with the milk and some of this extract, this is basically just a really thin white chocolate ganache that stays liquid inside the truffle shells. Pour the liquid into the shells and then carefully get the whole thing into the freezer to set to solid. I'm not gonna lie, this project ended up being really difficult to film since the liquid centers, well, they want to be liquid and this isn't really possible. They thawed out so quickly. To catch the entire process of this on video, just walking from the freezer to this table with the hot lights for the cameras, these liquid centers turned back to liquid almost instantly. So it was just easier for me to work near the freezer so that I could go in and out one at a time but you get the idea. I'm just gluing the two halves together with more chocolate, a quick plunge into more tempered chocolate, and then rolling the entire thing in crushed toasted almonds. These are some gigando truffles for sure. So let's move on to the almond custard. It is three ingredients with just sugar and cornstarch and plant milk. Some almond extract is optional and just boil it up to a silky creamy custard. Get that portioned into the tart shells and then once the custard is set, which happens pretty quickly, just the right amount of chocolate ganache goes on top for a really nice contrast. Now I did have some buttercream stashed away in my fridge, so I added some more almond extract to that with a little bit of almond butter too. Those gargantuan almond rochets go on top and while this dessert looks so elegant, it also quickly turns into a whimsical, playful dessert once you crack open that truffle and reveal the liquid cream centers. 
I am telling you, every bite of this tart tastes like dunking cookies into milk. I'm thinking we may just have to turn this one into a layer cake somehow. What do you think? Comment below and let me know how you feel about this one. Are you into making individual desserts like this or do you really just prefer the cakes? Well, either way, as always, grab the recipes at Gretchen'sVeganBakery.com. And thanks to everyone for watching and liking and commenting on my videos. And until next time, happy vegan baking. Bye for now.